Now let us proceed with the next subtopic on our chapter which is 5.2 on scalar product. Now let us look at the next example, example 4. So if we are given that the angle between vector Two vectors, vector A, i plus lambda j plus 2k, and vector B, 2i plus 3j plus k, is given by inverse cos of 1 over z equal 4. Now, we need to find the value of our lambda. So, the solution that we can see over here is, first one, we call back to our formula for the angle between vectors. So, we have that theta is equal to inverse cos of uh, dot product of A and B divided by magnitude A times magnitude B. So, if we write down over here, what we have is theta will be equal to inverse cos of okay, so let's put our value over here. So, what we have is A, so uh, vector A is given by I plus lambda J plus 2k, okay, let's put that in bracket, dot product with vector b, which is 2i plus 3j plus k, right, and then divided by, okay, so the magnitude of a can be calculated by taking 1 plus lambda squared plus 2 squared, okay, and then square root of this, times with square root of b, so magnitude b, so that will be a 4, plus with 9, plus 1. Okay, so we have it in this form. Now, this is the starting of our calculation. So, theta is the cos inverse of these two values. Now, let us proceed. So, theta will be equals to cos inverse, so if we check our dot product just now, we will have 2 plus 3 lambda plus with 2 divided by, okay, so the magnitude is square root of 5 plus lambda squared, and then multiply with z 14, right? So, the next step, we try to simplify further. So, we will have cos inverse. This one will be 4 plus 3 lambda divided by. This one will be 70 plus with a 14 lambda squared. Alright, so if we multiply these two set together, this is what we get. And then, now, this value is already given by cos inverse of 1 over z 84, right? This is what we have. So, therefore, we want to try to compare. So, what we will compare over here is 4 plus 3 lambda divided by 70 plus 14 lambda squared. So, we will equate this with 1 over z84. Alright, so having this, now what we're going to do next is, we will take the squaring of both sides. Okay, so squaring of both sides of our equation now. Okay, squaring both sides and then we will simplify the equation. So, what we're going to have is, we will take 4 plus 3 lambda divided by uh, 70 plus 14 lambda squared. Okay, so square root of this equals to 1 over 84. Okay, so square both sides of our equation now. Okay, this one will be square root sorry, square of each side. So, what we will have over here is, that will be 16 plus 24 lambda plus with 9 lambda squared divided by 70 plus 14 lambda squared. So, on the right hand side, we will have 1 over 84. Okay, so, 
if we rearrange this and we simplify, what we're going to have over here is 1, 3, 4, 4, plus 2, 0, 1, 6, lambda, plus with 7, 5, 6, lambda squared, that is equals to 70, plus 14, lambda squared. Okay, so next step is, we try to collect the like terms. So we will have 7 for 2 lambda squared over here plus with 2 0 1 6 lambda plus 1 2 7 4 that is equals to 0. Okay, so the next step that we can do is maybe we can simplify this. So if we simplify, we're going to get 53 lambda squared plus 144 lambda plus with 91 that is equals to 0 okay so we factorize we will get 53 lambda sorry 53 lambda plus 91 over here and then we will have the next factor lambda plus 1 that is equals to 0 all right so by checking that by taking this we understand that we have two values for lambda, right? So the first value for lambda that we have is equals to negative 91 over 53. Or we can also take the value for lambda equals to negative 1. Okay, so by checking, okay, so we understand that uh, this value for lambda is rejected. Okay, so checking your answer, you will reject because it does not satisfy the equation. Okay, so substitute back uh, into our original question. Right, so therefore, we can say that lambda is equal to negative 1 over here. Alright, so that is for our example number 4.